Hello everybody, today I'd like to talk to you about how to retouch photos that you've taken in direct sunlight. Um, as you know, shooting in direct sunlight, the light is quite harsh. It's kind of like a big um, beauty dish, you know, so you have to make sure that you get the shadows right and the time of the day and so on. Um, but I just want to kind of show you how I deal with those images. So I'm starting with Lightroom as always, because I always import all my photos here. It's in all my galleries. So I first go to lens correction i click enable profile correction because it always gets rid of the vignette very nicely for me as you see a little before and after and any distortions it kind of fixes as well so it's really handy now i am going to go down to camera calibration you can set up the profile automatically but just for the sake of this video i wanted to show you it's um set on adobe star standard as default um i always go for either camera standard or camera faithful you have loads of different profiles but those are my two favorite um, camera standard must be my number one that i pick because i love the skin tones and so on so i'm going to pick that edit in photoshop and then we go on from here um, as you see i have my beautiful model she doesn't really have any imperfections on the skin there's just like a tiny little shadow here that i don't really like so i'm going to fix and there are some minor kind of little things that i need to change so i'm going to start here with my usual um, patch tool i'm going to go bit by bit on the shadow you can use any other method you want but this is the one that i kind of find the easiest for myself I just usually do that, select a big patch, and then just kind of go in small, smaller sections. You you don't always, you're not always allowed to do that, you know, or you're not always able to do that, but in this particular image, because there isn't that much skin texture in that area, it's totally fine. Now I'm going to grab my brush, select the skin tone, make it a bit smaller, flow maybe around three or two. And then I'm just going to go over the slightly darker areas. Um, you want the flow to be really subtle because then you're going to have much more control over the brush. And you don't want it to kill the texture completely. So you just want to kind of cover the texture a tiny bit and make it a bit less rough, but you don't want to kill it. So I'll go back to my patch tool a tiny bit. And just wherever I see any imperfections that I don't like, I can just do that. This image in particular was shot in the afternoon. Um, it was shot on the 24 to 70 Canon lens. I had a pleasure to test it. I really, really loved it. Um, I think my focal length was around 70. So it was quite long, even though I got the full lens, uh, the wide lens. I guess it's just the portrait photographer and me. But anyway, um, this was shot in the afternoon, I think around 3 or 4. Um, the light wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst, as you see. Um, there's lovely little light catching in her eye, which is very nice. So it's just about getting the right balance for everything. Okay, so that's pretty much my skin done. As you see, this little area here is gone. That was annoying me. Now I'm going to grab the brush and just go over the darker areas ever so slightly. Again, not to kill the texture, but just to kind of make it slightly bit softer. Okay, now I'm going to go to the hands. Maybe I'll go the with the flow that is a bit higher, maybe around 7%. I need to brighten it. So, Command, Alt and Sample. So this was a jewelry shoot that we did. It was featuring all Irish designers. Um, it was shoot uh, shot on the beach. Um, it was like the only sunny day in Ireland. <laughs> so we were very lucky with the weather. Um, the editorial is currently published in um, Irish Tatler, which I'm really excited about. It's my first time working with them. Um, and I feel like it was a great collaboration to kind of start with. So just going over any kind of shaded areas that I find are too harsh. Um, using the brush is also a very good way to kind of smooth the hair on the arm or anything like that. It's just like the easiest method to go about it. 
Now, you don't want to go with the light brush over the shaded area too much because if you do that, as you can see, it just becomes very, um, very faded. So I just go over the area that is kind of similar in shade to what my brush color is. And then if I want to go over the dark areas, I just select the brush color there and then go over it because it kind of does the same thing. Now I'm going to get rid of this little scar here. Okay, now that we have the skin and everything else pretty much prepped, what I like to do is grab my curve layers, bring the highlights out a tiny bit, don't have to do it too much because you know if you overblow with you it's just the highlights are going to be too much but a tiny bit is nice so maybe around here and then I want to make the blacks a bit deeper so maybe just a tiny bit here yeah and as you see it's getting like a nice nice crispness already and the colors look very nice and lively okay now I'm going to go into another curve layer and create a contrast curve a bit brighter and a tiny bit of contrast you don't want to overdo it because the contrast is quite st strong on the image as it is um, so just remember to kind of keep that in mind now another thing is I kind of feel like her face is just a tiny bit darker than the rest of her body so what I'm going to do is create a curve layer brighten the whole thing a tiny bit then create the mask or invert the mask so it's command I and then go over go over the face just a tiny bit to kind of match the colors a bit a bit better Perfect. As you see, it's just a tiny little change, but I think it will do quite a lot. Now, I might create a um, dodge and burn layer. So, Alt and New Layer. I select um, Soft Light. Fill with 50% grey. Click OK. And now I'm going to grab a white brush and just go over the highlights a tiny bit. Okay, so white brush, go to flow maybe three. Perfect. Go over the jewelry even. Go over the fingers. Um, I also want to go over the eye a tiny bit, just the kind of area that it's bright here. And I just want to brighten it a tiny bit more. I think it's going to give a tiny bit of a kind of a nice effect. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, and now I'm going to go over the highlights in the arm a tiny bit. And then I'm going to go closer up to the rings and maybe highlight them a tiny bit more so they stand out a tiny bit more. Okay, and now I'm going to change the brush to black and just go over the inside of the eye a tiny bit to kind of create like a little. In here now that's nice now let me create a little group now I might have went a bit overboard with the eye I think it's a tiny bit too bright I'm not super crazy about it so I'm just going to darken it a tiny bit so go back to my dodge and burn layer and just go over there 
yeah that's a bit better I think now as you see it's mainly the ma the matter of light um, now another thing that we could do is s play with saturation a bit or with selective color um, uh, to be honest I'm ha quite happy with the colors but the only thing I might do is add a bit of blue to the black see it creates like a nice little um, warmness to the image I would go very slightly so maybe just like minus seven or minus five kind of thing it creates just this tiny little um effect which is very nice okay lastly i'm just going to go and use some sharpening always go with the eyes um that's about right um, okay, so I'm back to the first curves. I'll maybe go with something a tiny bit stronger, so maybe input 10. Okay, and that's our before and after. So as you see, um, the work is very minimal, but it's all about the details in this kind of shot because there are so many things you can do but you don't necessarily want to as i said it's all about getting the light right in the first place because if the light is wrong it's very hard to fix um you know we kept the lovely skin texture on our model's skin the freckle freckles and everything but we just smoothed the face a tiny bit so it's nice and um you know consistent with the texture and that's pretty much it um it's quite simple get your settings right in the camera first and then retouching is going to be a breeze thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video um let me know what you want to see next and i will see you next week